Coming up on this Whistler Pride edition of Outlook TV, Whistler's mayor proclaims Whistler Pride Week. Comedian Margaret Cho, the Whoosh Party, and much, much more. Welcome to Outlook TV. I'm Angus. And I'm Barb. And we're at the Whistler Pride and Ski Festival. It is the 23rd annual and this event is bigger and better than ever. There's lots going on. All sorts of new events. We've got comedy. Oh, God, we've got pools. We've got drag queens. We've got bears. We got leather, we've got all sorts of stuff. We've got chicks. Wow, snow bunnies? Definitely snow bunnies. We've got all sorts of stuff, but we're gonna cover it in a couple of shows for you. So we're not gonna waste any more time. I, you went to the flag run. But that's how things started off. We had the uh, ski down the hill with the uh, gay rainbow flag and we came right through the village. That is amazing. So why don't we uh, check out and see what you got up to? Let's check it out. Skiers are assembling at mid-station on Whistler Mountain to ski out and bring the rainbow flag back to the village. When this was our first run. It took us a couple runs to get over here because it's always hard. We're lost half the time. Have you gone to any of the parties? Of course, skiing and farting, work hard and play hard as usual. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite one so far? Uh, country Western dancing on Tuesday night. Yeah. This is my seventh. Oh, wow. So you know exactly what to expect? There you go. Yeah, very excited. I come every year from Connecticut, and I love it here. It's, it's amazing. So yeah. I'm absolutely freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to come down with us? I might not. I might not. I might pipe you guys off. That's what I'll do. Oh, nice. And then I'll meet you down at the bottom. Yeah. Definitely. To play. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Edinburgh. Australia! Oh yeah! Woo! Newfoundland! Woo! Vancouver. Vancouver. Vancouver! Vancouver! St. Louis! St. Louis! Woo! New York! Bayugan, Philippines! Philippines! Wow, fantastic! Woo! Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Egypt? Yeah. Wow, fantastic. Where are you from? Seattle! Seattle, great. Yeah. Where are you from? Ontario. Ontario, perfect. Where are you from? Indiana! Indiana? Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Vancouver. Vancouver? Yeah. yeah. From Australia. Australia. Fantastic. Coming into Whistler Village Square here, doing a detour here. We're going to the Olympic rings. Wow, this is And I was part of the original Pride House mission, was to really advocate for LGBT athletes. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on that again. I know it's a big milestone. And Happy Pride! Happy Pride! Woo! We've got people from all over the world here, people from Hong Kong, people from Egypt, people from South America. Wow, what a crowd. We're going to circle the Olympic rings here, uh, take the rainbow banner all the way around. And we started our journey to advocate to the IOC that LGBT rights need to be part of Principle 6. And this past December, we won that victory, and LGBT Rights are protected under sexual orientation under Principle 6. Yeah. Happy Pride! Yeah. Well, Thank you. well, of course, it's the 23rd annual. That means there is bigger and better and more going on. And speaking of better, there is a Better Together banquet, which was a fundraiser for the Rainbow Refugees. You went, and you got to speak to someone very, very special. I did. I got to meet the Mayor of Whistler, Mayor Willem Morton, and she was doing the Pride Proclamation, uh, telling us everything that's going to be happening in Whistler, how they're supporting the community, and things that are going on throughout the, the festival. And, of course, the, the comedic talents of Darcy and Michael were on show, and uh, great hosting, of course, by Joni, Rainbow Refugee, did uh, Scream, which was one of their theatrical, a very, Absolutely. very moving performance by them. But uh, we're not going to waste any more time uh, having you guys to listen to us. Why don't you watch it and see what went down? Yes, you get to meet the mayor and Darcy Michael. Tonight at the Better Together Banquet at the Whistler Pride and Ski Festival, we're going to have the Pride Proclamation by the Mayor of Whistler, and then we're going to have fabulous entertainment by Darcy Michael and the fabulous Joan E. And all the jazz, right up here is where I saw the truth. And all the jazz. 
this week with uh, Whistler Pride. We've got the rainbow ban street banners. We've got the rainbow flag uh, flying at Whistler Municipal Hall. In fact, the municipality of Whistler has invested in Whistler Pride this year. Um, so we just love hosting this event. It's, uh, I brought my best friend up because he's single and like this is the kind of week for him, right? He's, he lives the life I want, you know? Like, I texted him last week. I was at the pharmacy and I texted him and I was like, I recognize this guy behind the counter. Like, have you ever dated an Asian pharmacist named Alan? And his reply immediately was, you'll have to be more specific. Uh, and yeah, so for those of you that don't know me, and let's be honest, that's all of you. I'm a good time. Google me. Uh, you know, I, I, would, I do stand-up and acting. It's been, uh, I've been really blessed the last, uh, for the last 10 years to be able to, you know, pay my rent doing what I love, you know, and raising my family and still, you know, like working an hour a week is a fantastic lifestyle. <laughs> Well, Dean asked me if we would make the proclamation, and I thought, why the heck not? It made so much sense. The festival is actually 23 years old. It's the longest running festival in Whistler, and we absolutely love hosting it. Whereas all individuals seek recognition and respect of their human and civil rights, which are accorded to citizens in a free and democratic society, regardless of race, culture, creed, gender, identity, or sexual orientation. And whereas the resort municipality of Whistler has been a pioneer in celebrating pride publicly for the past 23 years and has benefited socially, economically, and culturally from the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, two-spirited, queer community. LGBTQ people, residents and whistlers uh, and visitors alike come together each year during the Whistler Pride and Ski Festival to celebrate their uniqueness as individuals as well as their shared goals and achievements. And finally, whereas this year marks the 23rd annual celebration of the Gay and Lesbian Ski Snowboard Week. Now, therefore, I, Nancy Wilhelm Warden, Mayor of the Resort Municipality of Whistler, do hereby proclaim the period from January 24th to February 1st, 2015, as Pride Week in the Resort Municipality of Whistler. Well, another new event this year had a little bit of an Eastern twist. Definitely. They had a film festival. Again, another new... There's so many new events happening here at uh, Whistler Pride. And Connie Smudge, our, our, our intrepid reporter, went. was out there bollying some wood. Yes, she went to Bollywood. Hi, kittens. That's right. It's your intrepid reporter, the unstoppable Connie Smudge, right here in Whistler for GayWhistler.com's fabulous week of frivolity and a little pride, too. Tonight is the start of their fabulous film festival, and it's going to be all Bollywood theme, as you can tell. Soon, oh, that's right, babies. Sunil's got us all organized. They're inside right now watching the movie. We're going to sneak in, but we've got an after party afterwards. It is going to be so much fun, and we'll have some chats with some hotties that have just taking themselves off the slope stairs. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. We're going to go inside and check it out, and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's go. Two years of this dancing, Raj, and you haven't even begun looking for a job? So here we are in Whistler. You guys just came from the fabulous film festival with Bollywood. Tell me how the evening went. Tell me how the movie was. It was great. I really enjoyed it. You know, it was a really cute movie. I had to hold back my tears. Super cute. I loved it. It was laughter through tears. Yeah, definitely. Fabulous. You guys are from San Francisco? Yes, we are from San Francisco. Do you come up all the time? Uh, this is my third year. Third year? Oh, my goodness. My first time my here. First time. I'll be gentle. First time. Your first time, too. Oh. Oh, my goodness. We're here with some local girls. This is Tegan, and this is Sage. Hi, girls. Hi. So, I know that you're mostly heterosexual, but I, something tells me you're straight, but not narrow. <laughs> I don't know if it's anything. Do you love Whistler? Tell me everything. We love Whistler. We love the mountains. We love the potty scene. We love the snow. And you love the boys. <laughs> I am the boys. That's I grew girl. up here, and I keep love coming back. <laughs> I think you just keep coming and the coming. 
The movie, tell me, was it, it, I hear it was exceptional. My first time to ever see a Bollywood movie, I loved it. The great experience. I was afraid it was going to be subtitled, but it was totally, oh, yeah. And it was funny, very, there was some sentimental, very heartbreaking, and a lot of fun dancing, learning new steps. It was cool. I, I can to, feel your energy. I, yes, absolutely. Quick question. Film Festival, Whistler, first year. What do you think? Tell me. They got to do it more often. Good. It's got to be a great thing. It's fantastic. I loved it. Thank you so much, my darling. Enjoy every, every ounce, my darling. Oh, oh. Fuck, I love you. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your intrepid reporter, the unstoppable Connie Smudge, reporting from Whistler, a film festival that who knew it could happen? I love you all. I'm going back to my boys. Ah. Stay tuned. There's lots more to come. We'll be right back. In America, too, with Bill Cosby, but he's here. Um, Keon Kinesky. Whistler Pride and Ski Festival is sponsored by the following resorts. Ava Whistler Hotel. Fairmont Shadow Whistler. And Coast Black Home Suites at Whistler. Welcome back, everyone. Yes. And right after skiing, there's a lot of fun that happens in the village. Well, for me, that's probably the funnest part of Whistler Pride is the apres ski. Love it. Held at the conference center every day after a day on the slopes. I hear Gary's going there today to check out, uh, I think it was uh, Tourism Saskatoon. Well, he certainly knows how to work the room. Let's go see. My Alamater City of Saskatoon is sponsoring today's apres ski. Let's check it out. As of two years ago when I was Mr. Gay Canada, Tourism Saskatoon then started using me as kind of their LGBTQ spokesperson. So they, they, they sent me on the road and then I became the president of Pride. So it became this wonderful marriage of um, me going out and giving the opportunity to, to, to reach a larger audience. Last year, we actually just started our first out on the river boat cruise and it's, it's wonderful. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's, a, it's got a beautiful backdrop. There's nothing be more beautiful than the South Saskatchewan River uh, sun, uh, at sunset with, uh, with the music playing. The first interpretation Pride conference was, uh, that was ever held was held in Saskatoon, so now we're bringing it full circle back to Saskatoon again. And so this year, um, being that we've you know moved on and gotten bigger and better, we are planning bigger and better things. In January, usually it's powder snow, today it's spring skiing conditions, but you know, most people are not wearing a lot and it's all good up there. Guided tours that we've been doing, oh my god, they're so good, they meet early, they uh, do the runs before we come and so that when they when they do the runs with us they know where they're going and it, that's so fantastic so it's two hours of, of ski guiding uh, and with fantastic people. Luke Moon and from Melbourne Australia. And what brings you to Whistler? The skiing and the cute boys. <laughs> how has the ski conditions been? Uh, compared to Australia absolutely fantastic uh, we don't get powder like this in Australia at all. So. And how are the many cute boys have you met? Uh, there's been a few. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> and overall, how are you enjoying your experience at Whistler? Uh, this is my first time, so it's been absolutely amazing, and I definitely will be back. And can you tell us a bit about what you're wearing? Um, well, my father's Austrian, so I like to. I don't have an opportunity to wear lederhosen or the longer lederhosen very often. So this is this is an Austrian deerskin, full length lederhosen with bib. And this is a Austrian hiking hat. So we've got about 40 guides. We've got ski and snowboard guides. And they, um, we meet every day on the hill uh, at alternating places between Whistler and Blackholm. And it's a free service for anybody that shows up. We've had people come back year after year to, to meet from all over the world. They ski with the same group. They don't see them the rest of the year. 
and they have the same guide every year, so it's, a, it's almost like a family reunion every year. It's a really awesome experience. This is Gary for Outlook TV. It was a great night of comedy here in Whistler, and I hear you got to meet somebody very special. It really, really was. It was, of course, headliner, Emmy and Grammy-nominated uh, comedian Margaret Cho with her opener. It was Kate Willett. They had everybody rolling in the aisles. It was uh, definitely a highlight, sold-out show. Amazing. I got an opportunity to speak with Margaret right before her show, and we got that for you now here on Outlook TV. Let's go see what she said. Hi, this is Barb Snellgrove. We are at Whistler Pride once again. It is an amazing week of events. And once again, they're pulling out all the stops. And a new event this year is a night of comedy with Kate Willett and the legendary, the Emmy and Grammy nominated Margaret Cho. First off, congratulations on your new show. Oh, thank you. All about sex and yes. it's on TLC Saturday nights. Yes. Uh, I've seen your shows. What can we expect? This seems like a perfect fit for you. Well, I think so. I mean, it's a, it's a, um, a show that's a, kind of a, advice driven. You know, we're really there to talk about women's sexuality and I'm kind of their um, queer representative. So I'm there to talk about um, any LGBT stuff, but also uh, alternative sexuality and um, BDSM and, and things that are um, a little different, polyamory and all this kind of stuff that uh, people never really have an opportunity to ask questions about. So we kind of cover it all. One thing I've noticed that is consistent with you always, and I really wanted to show appreciation of uh, body self-empowerment, body self-love, and body awareness, which is great for young kids, because in this world of Photoshopping, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, and I think you know it's important to have um, you know the positive messages out there about um, just feeling good. Uh, I think it's really hard for people, especially ki kids and you know younger people, certainly. And and the internet is such a mm. difficult place to live, you know. And, yeah. and you you're a little different or whatever, you know. Even if you feel um, a little insecure or something, so it's it's a tough thing. Um, but I I've always like really tried to invest in it, tried to really think about how I can put the positive messages out there. But it's unfair because it's not what the world is and it's not the not way remotely, yeah. no i mean it's really um it, you know it, it's not the way that uh we need to see ourselves we you know we can all be different sizes and different shapes and it, you know it's it's better if we're all different you know you yeah. don't want everybody to look the same so it's it's really um it's hard i don't know if it's gotten that much better in television television's uh become more multicultural and and definitely included a lot more people but i think that just the way that sort of body I issues kind of are still not really addressed, is, it's, it's hard. You're starting a new tour. Yeah. All across the States. I know you're going to be making it, I think, to Ontario in July. Mm -hmm. And then what can people expect from Margaret Show this time around? Um, well, this shows a lot about um, lots of different things that, you know, I want to talk. It's, it's a very feminist show. It's talking a lot. Well, I'm obsessed with um, the case is happening well, in America, too, with Bill Cosby, but in here, um, Gian Gomeshi. So I'll talk about that. I'll talk about um, race and uh, gender and sexuality and um, politics and how they all kind of come together. These are all very important topics for me. This is Barb Snellgrove for Outlook TV at Whistler Pride. Well, are you able to keep up with all this awesomeness we're bringing you from Whistler Pride? We'll be right back. Whistler Pride and Ski Festival is sponsored by the following resorts. Ava Whistler Hotel. Weston Resort and Spa Whistler. Premier. Welcome back to Outlook TV. Whoosh. 
and it was definitely that another annual event it's a huge huge party that happens every year it's sweaty it's hot it's packed willie it's, taylor comes up every year and hosts it it's the worst party with gareth we're here at merlin's pub for the 10th and final year of the Woosh fundraising party as always, our charity is uh, always priority for us. So tonight, 100% of the door proceeds will go to A Loving Spoonful. And as always, 100% of our door check will go to Camp Moomba, which sends HIV kids uh, to summer camp. I heard that this was the last year for Woosh. Is that true? It is true. We've been doing Woosh now for 10 years, 10 amazing years. Uh, by tonight, we will have raised $60,000 for various LGBT charities. and. Uh, 10 years is a good run. We want to go out on, a, on top, and uh, 10 years of sold out uh, uh, parties is the way we want to go. And is Ski Out going to continue? Uh, Ski Out will continue. Ski Out is in year number 16, and we have a, a group a membership of about 560 people. Uh, and we meet every two weeks, Black Home Whistler, Black Home Whistler. And it's just a, a great way to come out and meet different people who have the same interest. <laughs> So I heard that you are performing tonight. Yes. Petrified Wood is in fact performing tonight. She was out for year number one of Woosh. She's out for year number 10 of Woosh. Me and the fabulous, amazing Miss Willie Taylor uh, will be doing a, a, a couple numbers that will knock the ceiling uh, out of this bar. We are doing a duet. Um, it is so spectacular. It's actually three parts, but we're gonna take it on the two of us. <laughs> it's been a while since we performed together. It is. 20, 20 years. 20 years. 20, 20 years. years, yes. There's lots of parties in this city and in this world, but this is the only one that seems to get all the right people, the right atmosphere, the right music, the right cause, and it is just, it's never been a bad time, never. Are you guys sad that it's gonna be Wish's last year? I'm sad, but I'm very proud of this guy. You know, sometimes you run things way too long. This guy has done it right. Uh, best party ever, and then stopped it. Excellent, excellent. From Whistler, BC, this is Garrett CJ Wee for Outlook TV. So I hear things are going to get a little country and western here in Whistler Bar. There's definitely some swing happening, a little bit of yippee yay yay yee Yeehaw. Yeehaw. And the one person perfectly suited to do cowboys and cowgirls is Connie. She is a cowgirl. And then some. And she can lasso them in, I'm sure. Oh, and, and I think she did, but we're going to find out in this segment. Let's go check it out. Hello, everyone. It's your terrific reporter, the unstoppable Connie Smudge, reporting for Buffalo Bills in Whistler. It is time for Cowgirl cow, Cowboy Evening. I'm so excited. They're learning how to do like two-step. We're going to talk to the organizers. We're going to talk to the DJ. And we're going to talk to a lot of these hot men and women. Come on, baby. Let's go check it out. There's a place I know about. I'm great. How are you? I'm fabulous. Look at this turnout. Yeah, it's great. It's Men, amazing. women alike, absolutely yeah. here to rock it out. Yeah. Well, two step it out. Two step it out and East West Coast swing it out and line dance it out. Yeah, all of those things. I saw everyone just getting sort of taught a little bit of the two step, yeah. sort of quick, quick, slow, quick, yeah. quick, slow. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly people pick, pick it up. Yeah, it's not that hard. The basics aren't that hard. It's just a really great opportunity to get people together and just to have a good time together. Slow, slow. Let's go get your partner and dance quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow everyone dances with everyone else so it's actually a really good mix um you can't come to a country event and not be connected with people because you won't be a wallflower people will pull you out and pull you into the crowd quick quick slow slow we're doing a turn on the quick quick so you're doing some things downtown, just, just, is it just at the Pump Jack or is there somewhere else? No, we actually meet um, every Thursday and it's in the uh, St. Paul's Church downtown on Jervis. And we go from 7 to 9.30. We do a lesson usually between 7 and 8. And then we do open dancing for the rest of the evening. We're here with Billy the Kid. You're spinning some tunes, my friend. Absolutely. I love, oh the, I love the blend of the tunes, too. It's not just country. There's a little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of 70s, just like you can hear yeah, right absolutely. now. Um, is this your first year doing it? No, this is my second year. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely. Are you loving all the men loving you? 
They're worshiping. I haven't seen too much love this year. I got a little bit more last year. <laughs> the night is young. Absolutely. Um, so everyone's just doing sort of freewheeling dancing, and you're just here to spin the tunes and make us dance like crazy. Absolutely. Are you from Whistler? I'm not. I'm actually from Gold Coast, Australia. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I still am the unstoppable Connie Smudge. I am your intrepid reporter, and I'm right here at the fabulous Buffalo Bills in Whistler. And I'm going to go do a little two-stepping before it totally closes that. But I want to thank you for joining. I'm still reporting for Outlook TV. <gasps> Thanks for watching Outlook TV. This wraps up our first edition of Whistler Pride and Ski Festival. Please like us on Facebook or check out the website to check out past shows. And hey, you want to volunteer? Are you interested in working in film? Why don't you uh, let, drop us a line and join us at Outlook TV? We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody.